A further trillion dollars in coronavirus relief is on the way as Senate Republicans revealed their plan for navigating through the economic fallout of the pandemic. The $2 trillion CARES Act passed somewhat swiftly in March at the onset of the outbreak in the U.S., and now the GOP proposal sees the $1 trillion HEALS Act, which is expected to meet Democratic opposition. Like the CARES Act, the proposal still has enhanced unemployment benefits, but CNN reports that rather than the $600 weekly payment, the GOP is looking to reduce that amount to $200 and then transition to a formula where an unemployed person would get paid 70% of their wage. Another round of stimulus checks appear to be headed to Americans at some point too, as Newsweek reports that the Senate Republicans plan wants to send out another single payment of $1,200 to qualified individuals. The income parameters for receiving the full $1,200 amount are being a single tax filer earning under $75,000, a head of household earning $112,500 or less, or a couple making less than $150,000. $50,000. Additionally, Americans looking after children and adult dependents will be given an extra $500 for each person in their care. CNN notes that there will also be further Paycheck Protection Program loans for small businesses. The Trump White House appeared to have some say in the proposal as well, as The Hill reports that $1.75 billion was set aside for design and construction of a new FBI building in Washington, D.C. While this has been on the Trump administration's wish list, The Hill reports that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell wasn't aware at first that the FBI building was part of the proposal when asked by reporters, before saying they'd have to ask the White House, quote, why they instituted that be included.